or nothing. Well, fuck them now. We got Zoom. <laughs> you need to see how unfulfilling that is for some people, right? It's like, there's nobody watching. What do I do? I need that accolade. Do you think those are still worth it? The Zoom shows? Absolutely. Yeah. Because they teach you another level. They teach you to relate to this thing right there. Mm. Right. And it's like you, this is, that's unusual, but how does that impact you now? If you get an agent, you start doing commercials mm. and now you have no problem talking to the camera. Like I'm talking to you guys, right? I'm looking in your eyes. Right. But it's so weird because in comedy, we don't look in everybody's eyes at the exact same time. So it's a little different, but you can you can actually use it and ponder and do that sort of thing. You can use your your framing to go, you know, it's like, uh, you know, it's like and I can't do this. And, you know, it's like I can't do anything because I'm Jewish. I can't you know, I can't uh, I can't watch Stranger Things on the Sabbath. I can't do this. And it's like uh, I can't covet my neighbor's wife and she's hot, you know, always coming over. What another cup of sugar. So you can do that and use the frame to create the joke. Mm -hmm. So if you're imagining what's what's what they're seeing in the frame, you could utilize that to your advantage and it force you to be more creative now. So, but you see how that you're seeing it in a different perspective too. Now they could see your eyes. Now you could do facials. Now you can do things with your eyebrows that maybe you didn't do before, right? You know, you used to do a true and false quiz in class. You know, my friend and I would send signals. He'd, he'd study one night. I'd study the next night. We'd split the work in, in half. Next day, he'd be looking at the, at the question. He'd go, all right, that one's true. He'd send the signals. That one's false. He has no idea. You know, so now you have, now you could do that where they wouldn't be able to see you up on a stage in the back, from the back of the room. So there's those advantages. Also watch John, John, uh, John Oliver. Watch how he, when he first started after the pandemic, doing the shows sort of remotely and how it evolved. And he's just like, wow, he doesn't even stop for the laugh. It's just, it happens by accident. And it's so riveting. That's why he won another Emmy, you know, because that's something to, to take from. If you see, if you join these Zoom, Zoom shows, see what other people are doing. Steal the moves that are working. If they, oh, that guy gave a look like that. That seemed to really get a laugh. Oh, I can use facial expression. Mm. I can do a deadpan. I go, you know, and she wants me to come over. Get into, use that camera to your, uh, 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 to your effect. It shift a dynamic level in your act, you know? And it's like, you know, and this, this is all going on, of course, during the pandemic, you know, or during the apocalypse. You know, and that gives it a conspiratorial type of thing. You know, use that camera as you're leaning in and trying to whisper to them. If you're serious about becoming a comedian, join our Facebook group linked in the description below to start getting tips like these every single day and watch this playlist of our top writing tips to improve your writing today.